Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically Vicksburg, Mississippi, and I'm outside of Margaret's Grocery. This is a folk art, abandoned folk art installation made by the Reverend H.D. Dennis. He built it, he said he would build his wife something truly spectacular and built Margaret's Grocery, naming it after her. And it has sat abandoned for a few years. Both the Reverend and his wife are currently deceased. So follow me. This is the home of the double-headed eagle. I guess Reverend Dennis called himself the double-headed eagle. D-H-E. There's moss covering those stones, but you can kind of make it out. bus. Oh, wow. Check out this interior. It's like decorations all over the roof. This is wild. Almost looks like an altar or something right here at the back. amazing. I wonder if there's any way to get up there. Does not appear to be a reasonable way to get up there. Mm. Someone left a nice, refreshing Coca-Cola here. See if there's maybe some old printouts of pictures, maybe some newspaper articles. Looks like it's connected to this single wide trailer. I guess this would have been the Reverend's home. Oh wow, look at all these, all these shoes. That oh, teacup. Right there. It's just me. Does anyone find a 
wood burning, wood burning fireplace inside of a single wide trailer to be terrifying. Actually get into the building here it looks like. Oh, that is the most uncertain store floor I've ever stepped on. Oh, it is strange. It is like, for some reason it has like got like icy cold in here. It's super cool. Yeah, they're not great. It's really like wet. I don't know what the ceiling. Ooh. Some pictures of Jesus. Some artwork. There's like a, okay, this goes into the grocery, I guess. I don't know if I can walk through there. Oh, wow. I think you'll be good. Just walk, just test the floor before you step on it. decorated in here. Oh yeah, the ceiling in here is just decorated with all sorts of odds and ends. Something else, man. This is it. This is the inside of the minister's grocery. Was this like an actual store at some point? I don't know if this is a was an operating store or if it was just a theoretical or ideological store. I don't think they really sold canned goods and stuff in there. I think it was just the name he gave it. It's pretty much adorned with all kind of either artwork or jewelry, very colorful. Crazy, man. No. <laughs> yeah, these ceilings are really low, and then they got, from that they got like things hanging down from there. Ridiculous man, this one states. That's cool. Dreams of a ridiculous man. That's actually super cool. Man.
And if it was an operational business, this was some sort of glass case for what they were selling. This place is super freaking cool. I can just only imagine how amazing this must have looked when it was actually in operation. Uh, so appreciate, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, or share. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, I have a link down below. And uh, if you want me to send you postcards while I'm out on these road trips, uh, just throw me a few dollars on Patreon and I will send you postcards. All right, I appreciate it.